Hi there, Dead Eye Del Boy here, back with another video. And this one has left me a little bit, shall we say, confused. Let me explain. Now, one of the things about having a YouTube channel and being reasonably big, although not very big, but you do get messages from people, usually nice messages saying, I like your videos and thanks for the tips and just, you know, sometimes just saying, hello, it was nice racing with you, um, which is great. I love seeing messages like that in my inbox. But this time I got a message that just kind of, well, it took me aback. I didn't really know what was going on. So let's dive into my inbox, see what I'm talking about. So as you can see, we've got a message from Kimmy Velocini. Now, I have never had a message from Kimmy Velocini before. Not only did they get a message, I got a friend request from him. So, curiosity got the better of me. I accepted his friend request and I opened his message. So, here we have it. The inbox is open, the message is there, and it goes like this. Hi, Deadeye, I have a great video for you. Race replay video for you in GT7 is shared as public replays. Search for it using Kimmy hashtag. The replay is called Kimmy vs Sim Racing DK Final Round. Thanks. And then he goes on to say, Nice dead eye. Kimmy your friend. Clean and races. I promise. Now, I assume that is because I accepted this friend request and he gave himself a little thumbs up. The videos I've made of Kimmy in the past have always highlighted just how much of a troll he is. But... Curiosity always gets the better of me, so I had to take a look at the video he was referring to and I'm going to do something which I thought I wouldn't do. I'm going to actually show you this video because it was quite unbelievable what happened in this race. So if you care to join me, let's jump in and see exactly what carnage was about to unfold. So here we are at the start of the race in question now. The one thing that sticks out right away is it never fails to amaze me that Kimmy can keep making liveries that are worse than the previous one. Now this is horrific. How he doesn't get banned just for having these liveries, I do not know. But anyway, start of the race, he's got his apparent nemesis DK Sim Racing up ahead so we're going to find out exactly what went on between them and what caused Kimmy to well message me to ask me to watch this video now we're going to see here we've got the first incident coming up keep an eye on this McLaren as it tries to break check Kimmy to take him out of the game only serves to kill himself because Kimmy is smart enough to use that little flashing red steering wheel symbol which is the counter steering assist and that really does help you keep the car pointing in a straight line if somebody tries to ram you so yeah that's why Kimmy's using that that is a tried and tested technique by him deployed to maximum effect now can I also just say I do not promote this in the sense that I do not condone this video but what I do want to highlight is or plead to anybody with any authority out there in the game, PD, influential, GT, World Series drivers, anybody who has any sort of power, or clout at PD, can you not just watch this video or watch the or see the volume of videos about this guy and just ban his console is that something you can do i think it is and it would be appreciated by everybody in the gran turismo community if you did now remember gran turismo is one of sorry he just brake checked this guy here kimmy gives him a little he gives kimmy a little bump draft there and then he just just blatantly brake checks him fantastic now Console banning must be something they can do. Now remember, Gran Turismo is a, it's, it's one of the flagship games for Polyphony Digital. 
sorry, I'll come back to this because this is obviously going to kick off here. And there he goes. He's took DK Sim Racing out of the game there. And well, this is just in case. Where do you, where where do you even start with this? In fact, let's go back. Let's let's take it right back here to where DK Sim Racing tries to end Kimmy's race for the good of the rest of the drivers, but doesn't do a very good job of it. Just gets himself a two-second penalty, and the ghost of Kimmy returns to haunt him and send them off into the grass. Now you can see how many cars are now involved because Kimmy's just got his eyes on one guy. He doesn't care who he you now takes out the the race in his quest to take out DK Sim Racing and you can see up ahead how many cars get involved in the absolute carnage that was Kimi Velocini there and it's just incredible and up ahead there you can see Kimi actually spinning off into the wall so let's have a look at what happened here so Kimi was coming round this corner behind the guy with a five, a five second penalty and wow Wow, that was an impressive strike. I think it was this guy, the Italian, in the Ferrari. And, oh, yeah. Fair play to that guy for trying to, well, basically save everybody else's race by ending Kimmy's. Unfortunately, he took this guy out in the equation. Now, he's got a five-second penalty. Let's look at this and see what he got that for. So he's kind of back of the pack when the carnage begins to unfold. And he's really not done anything wrong there. So what does he get the penalty for? He got the penalty for basically avoiding the chaos and holding his position on the track. And to add salt to the wounds, he gets taken out as collateral damage from the guy who tried to kill Kimmy. So, this race is, as you can see, it's descended into farce. Look how many cars are actually involved in the madness caused by Kimmy and his battle with DK Sim Racing. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got six cars all going into one corner because of it, all trying to basically, you know, save their own skins by this point because... Nobody really knows what's happening. Everybody's just hitting each other accidentally because Kimmy's formed a rolling roadblock of chaos. And yeah, a lovely takeout, I have to say. An absolutely beautiful takeout on Kimmy there. He's alone to himself. He just won't stop. And as I said, as I was halted mid-rant, Kimmy is doing this on one of PD's flagship games and that is what Gran Turismo is to Sony and PD because it's a, an exclusive to PlayStation it is the I think it's the biggest selling franchise that Sony have, 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 have if you go back to the original Gran Turismo I don't think any series of games have sold more for a console than Gran Turismo that's how big it is that's why they made a movie out of it now Kids are watching the movie thinking this is a serious sim. You know, this is a race, this is a game that can propel me to potentially a real world racing driver situation. And then we've got this kind of thing happening on it. And PD can do something about it because they could ban the console. We know they can do it. They do it in other games. So a console ban, it might it might not work immediate well, it might only be short term but if somebody has to actually go and purchase a new console and you see DK Sim Racing failing to take Kimmy out again he's left himself in a vulnerable position here I believe this is going to be the end of him yeah that's the end of DK Sim Racing but if somebody's console gets banned they then have to purchase a new console now if you then ban that They'll have to keep doing that. Now, you can't keep shelling out three, four, five hundred pounds for a console every time just because you want to keep playing Gran Turismo. You will eventually have to change your ways because this isn't acceptable. It really isn't. But we are being told it's acceptable. 
because nothing's been done and we're just constantly being subjected to this level of behaviour. Let me know in the comments what you think, you know, should we, they just go, should, is a console ban the solution? Is there any other solutions? I don't know, but what I do know is he will, not, he will not stop driving like this. It doesn't matter if I make this video or not, he will not stop driving like this. This He was doing this when he knew he wasn't on stream, when he knew he wasn't with anybody who would make a video about it. This is what he does, this is, what enjo this is the enjoyment he gets from the game. And to be honest with you, it's downright disgraceful to be honest with you. That's what it is. So, anyway, I know I've ranted on a bit about, obviously, Timmy and Dirty Driving in this video, and I've done so before, but it's just never going to stop. And it shows you a little bit about the kind of thing that I'm getting in my inbox, and I'm assuming other YouTubers are getting the same thing, so, yeah, it's just insane. But if you found the video entertaining, if you enjoyed my rant then hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're getting closer to 7,000 subscribers and every single one of you who hits that subscribe button plays a massive part in that. And it would be, yeah, it would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button. So anyway, I can only thank you for sticking with me, watching the videos, and yeah, just supporting the channel in general. And I will see you all on the next one. Goodbye.